Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. Um, this time I'm going to teach you about classes and stuff. So this is the part in Java where we start to use everything we have learned and make complex stuff. So we begin by doing that with classes. I'm not going to explain what classes are that much in detail, but I'll link the, in the description a place where you can get a detailed description. So anyway, a class is a new type of data that is used as a template basically. With this template we can create things called objects or instances of the class. Objects and classes are the same thing, so don't get confused, but yeah. Anyway, let's create a new project here. We'll do it from the command line. We'll give it a name of classes and objects. All good, okay. So let's get rid of this and enter forward. So creating a class is actually pretty simple. They're made up of two things primarily, instance variables and instance methods. Instance variables are just called instance variables because they're put into our template, which is the class, don't forget. And every time you create a new object or instance of the class, one of the one of these instant variables are made. So every time you make an object of the class, a new instance variable is created. So that's the same thing with methods too, which we'll be learning later on. But okay, 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 enough, 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 enough talking, okay? So let's create our first class here. So it's pretty simple actually. So think of, think of yourself as God. You can create human beings. Every human has its own attributes, but they are fundamentally fun, fundamentally the same. So let's create a class that represents that weird thought that I just thought of. So class, use the class keyword, and then class human. Uh, I would advise that you make the H capital because that's just what people do. Usually you make uh, capitals for uh, classes. Class is capital. So yeah, so we can create a human class here. And uh, we can give it some things. Now we can say, uh, what do we want to do? Let's give it a, a string name. Okay, and then we could have, uh, just leave it blank because we're going to set that later on. We could set it here if we want to. We could say, you know, Larry or something. But we're going to do that outside of the human class because this is just a template. There's no point in doing that really. So um, now we can have something else. Let's create um, int. Yeah, int age, so that'll be his age, and then we'll have one more. Um, and we'll have a boolean, because why not? Boolean true, I mean boolean sex. So if it's true, then it's a no. We'll say it is male. There. So if it's true, it's male. If it's false, it's not male. Pretty simple. So now that we have created this here class, we can only use it as a template. That's what it is. Um, that's we can't do anything with it yet. So now that we have it, that template, we can create an instance of it or an object. So to do that, we can, let's just leave a comment here. Object of the human class. And let's say human. This is the class name, and then this is the variable name that we'll assign to the object that we're creating. Equals new instance of the human class. So new human. And there we go. So now we have a human object, basically, a new instance of the class. So this created an object named human, um, human one actually, of the cl uh, class human. So simple. It's pretty confusing probably if it's your first time doing it, but you'll get used to it. Don't worry. So now that we have this object, we can give it um, some properties and stuff. And uh, yeah, so to do that, all we have to do is reference the name that we just created. And now we have access to these three things right here that we just made the three uh, data data uh, variables <laughs> inside of the class that we made. Like it's a template, right? So now we can access each of the variables inside the template. So if you want to access the name, so human one dot name equals Larry. So now we'll have Larry. So that would be the same thing as going up here and setting it to Larry basically, except we'll see soon that we can have multiple objects and multiple humans and multiple names. So there's, we want, we don't want to do that because if we want to have multiple, then we have to reset it every time basically. So, so we got the name now. So let's do human one dot age and see they're circled by, a, I mean, they're squared off. So that means they're the same thing. If they have a square around it equals and Larry is 60,000 years old. Okay, and then we have um, a human one dot bull. I mean dot is male, and we'll say yes because hopefully if your name is a layer, you're you're a boy. 
Um, well, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So now that we have these properties here, let's just test it out and see if we did it right. We'll print them out each each one. So sout um, name. Oops. Give me one dot name. So now we can reference them that way. So sout age dot. I mean human one dot age. Sorry. So this is basically the same thing as accessing a variable name like you usually would. Basically, like accessing this because that's what it is. So yeah, so we have that and we have that. So let's do the this here. Okay, so let's print that out. Oh wait, what's here? Uh, anyway, so let's print that out. And we get Larry 60,000 and true, which is ex exactly what we want because we set the object to have a name of Larry, age of 60,000, and male true. So, yeah. So, the point of this having objects is that maybe you want multiple um, thingies, objects, basically, with different, with similar attributes, but different properties. I don't know that, how to explain it, but. Let's just, let me show you rather. So we can have another human here, human uh, human two equals new human. So they're gonna have the same um, variables, but they're gonna have different uh, properties, I guess you would call them. So let's, sh let's test that out. So we'll have human two dot name equals, we'll name her Jane, this will be a lady. Uh, human two dot age is two. She's two years old, but she's a lady apparently. It's human two dot uh, is male, and we'll put false. Okay, so now we have two humans, two objects. Object um, one is human one, and object two is human two. So we can also print these out if you want to. So sout human two. Oh, human two dot name. We want it right here. Oopsie daisy. Okay, so there we go. So sout human two dot age. Sout human two dot is male. Okay, so <laughs> let's print that out. And nice, we get Larry 60,000, true, Jane 2, false. Awesome, exactly what we want. So you might be wondering, why, how is this working if we're just, um, like, we, they both have the same thing, like, we're using them multiple times. Well, they're actually separate, like, these, this is not the same as this, if you think about it, because we have, these are totally two different objects. This is basically a variable, and the variable has its own attributes, and this is basically a variable, and this has its own attributes. They're completely separate, and they have the same um, variable names within the variable <laughs> names. It's really confusing, but just remember they're all using the same template. That's why they're so similar, because they're using the same template. And with these templates, you can create as many objects as you want. You can have like a thousand humans if you want them to. So yeah, so this is very cool. Um, yeah, so let's make one more. We'll do one more. So I'll make a class of dog. Make sure you have a capital, right? So class dog, and we'll have um, another string name. We'll have int age. We'll have a string of breed. And yeah, so pretty similar. And we can use that now. So class dog. What's the error here? Oh, we got an error here because... Um, you don't need this parentheses. I got that mixed up, so make sure you have those off. We don't need those for a class. So anyway, we can, uh, oops. So we can access this, um, and then we can create our objects now. So let's create a new doggy. Doggy, and we'll have dog1 equals new dog. It's all the same thing, pretty much. So dog1.name. We'll name our dog hot, because he's a hot dog. Ha <laughs> ha. Dog1. Age is equal to 500 years old. It's a pretty old dog. Dog one dot breed is a dragon. So he's a dragon dog. So and then we can print these out, of course. So sout, oops, sout, uh, 
dog one dot name sout dog one dot age sout dog one dot breed there we go so let's print that out and we get hot 500 and dragon exactly what we want so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed um, i hope this was informative for you that you can do classes now and objects in the next episode we'll be learning a bunch more about classes and objects and we'll be le learning more about the classes throughout the tutorial series and um yeah so we'll be learning about uh, methods actually next episode so this will allow us to do some pretty cool stuff so if you liked it leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and uh yeah if you need help just leave a comment and i'll help you and um peace